Hello mga ka Isip Math, it's me again Teacher Koy and welcome to Isip Math Tutorial. And for today's video, pag-uusapan po natin ang ating Grade 8 Mathematics Quarter 1, Module 5 for School Year 2021-2022. And our topic is Rectangular Coordinate System. Pero bago pang lahat, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon para lagi po kayo updated sa lahat ng mga bagong videos po natin. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Isip Math Tutorial, and join us on Facebook, DepEd Teachers Files. So, for our learning competencies, illustrates the rectangular coordinate system and its uses, illustrates linear equations in two variables, and illustrates and find the slope of the line given two points, equation, and a graph and our objectives illustrate and describe the rectangular coordinate system and its uses identify linear equations and two variables and illustrate and find the slope of the line given two points equation and a graph and for our lesson one we have here rectangular coordinate system and its uses so what is a rectangular coordinate system sometimes we call this one rectangular plane or the x and y plane or sometimes Cartesian plane because in honor of the French mathematician René Descartes who is known as the father of modern mathematics. So the rectangular plane or the Cartesian plane is composed of two perpendicular number lines that meet at the point of origin which is 0 and 0. Pag sinabi natin point of origin, ibig sabihin ang, ang, ating, value ng, ang ating value ni x ay 0 at ang value ni y ay 0. And it divides the plane into four regions called quadrants. Diba? Dalawang number line na nag-intersect perpendicular. So, it divides the plane into four quadrants. So, it is composed of infinitely many points. Pag sinabi natin line, it means composed of points. Diba? Each point on a coordinate plane corresponds one ordered pair. So, pag sinabi natin ordered pair, mayroong value ni x at saka value ni y. And then the first coordinate of the point is called the x coordinate or the abscessa. Yung x ay abscessa po siya. And the second coordinate is called y coordinate or the ordinate. Okay, so we have here the the four quadrants. For our quadrant 1, the value of x is more than 0. Oh, it's greater than 0. And the value of y is greater than 0. So, therefore, the value of x and the value of y are all positive. And for quadrant 2, the value of x is less than 0. So, it means negative. And the value of y is more than 0. So, it means positive. So, in quadrant 2, the value of x are all negative And the value of y are all positive. And for quadrant 3, the value of x is less than 0. It means negative. And the value of y is also less than 0. So, in quadrant 3, all values of x and y are all negative. And for quadrant 4, the value of our x is more than 0 or greater than 0. So, it means positive. And the value of y is less than 0. So, it means negative. So, all values of x in quadrant 4 are all positive. And the value of y in quadrant 4 are all negative. So, we have here the drawing or okay, so or the illustration. Ito po yung tinatawag nating rectangular coordinate system or the Cartesian plane. Diba? Composed of two number lines perpendicular and they meet at the point of origin which is 0, 0. So, this is our quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and quadrant 4 because it divides the plane into four regions called quadrant. The value of x and y in quadrant 1 are all positive. The value of x in quadrant 2 are all negative and the value of y are all positive. In quadrant 3, the value of x and y are all negative. And for quadrant 4, the value of x are all positive and the value of y are all negative. So that's it for our lesson 1, Rectangular Coordinate System and its uses. Saan po natin ito magagamit? We can use this one in locating Diba? Locating um, locations. For example, on the map. Okay. So, meron po dong parang um, graph. Diba? So, we can locate some points or some area dun sa map using the rectangular coordinate system. 
Okay, for our lesson 2, we have here linear equation and two variables. So, pag sinabi natin linear equation, it means that is an equation of a line or it is an equation of a line. Uh, a linear equation is an equation in two variables which can be written in two forms. Two variables, it means may dalawang variables po tayo. And usually, we use x and y as our variables. And for linear equation, we can write this one in two forms. We have the standard form and the y standard form or sometimes we call this one slope intercept form. So for our standard form, we have here ax plus by is equal to c, where a, b, and c are integers. It means numbers, and our variables are x and y. So this is our standard form, and for the y standard form or the slope intercept form, ito po siya y is equal to mx plus b. y is equal to mx plus b. Our variables are x and y, and m is our slope, and b is our y intercept. So, we have here the examples of a linear equations. 2x plus 4y is equal to 1. This is a linear equation in two variables because our variables are x and y. And this is on a standard form, diba? 2x plus 4y is equal to 1. This is ax plus by is equal to c. Okay. For number 2, we have here y is equal to 3x minus 7. This is on a y standard form or the slope intercept form y is equal to mx plus b but this time our b is negative 7 and then our m is 3 diba? and our variables are x and y and same also with number 3 m is equal to uh, y is equal to mx plus b and our b here is negative 5 and our m is 2 thirds okay so the following equations are not linear we have here 5x squared minus 3 is equal to y. Bakit hindi po sa linear equation? Because our variable x, ang kanya exponent ay more than 1. Diba? We have your x squared. So, dapat 1 lang po yung exponent niya or degree. Okay? Then, for number 2, 8x plus squared of negative 2 is equal to 5. This is not a linear equation to two variables because of this negative squared of negative 2 is not an integer and at the same time ang ating variable ay only one diba? x and we're talking about linear equations into variables okay so that's for our lesson two and for our lesson three we have your slope of the line given two points equations and its graph so slope ano po tong slope this is the steepness okay if we have a concrete road diba meron pong pa pata pa pataas, pababa, eh, that, that, that is a slope or the steepness of our road. So, slope, our symbol is M. The slope of a line can be computed by finding the quotient of rise and run. So, the quotient rise and run. Rise is the change in vertical. Diba? The vertical change or the change in Y coordinate. While the run is our horizontal change or the change in X coordinate. So, slope M is equal to rise over run. So, we have here M is equal to rise over run or simply as is equal to vertical change over horizontal change or simply as is equal to change in Y coordinate over the change in X coordinate. So, for example, we have the illustration. This is our change in Y coordinate or the vertical change and this is our horizontal change or change in X coordinate. So, since the X since the y axis is the vertical chain or the vertical line and the x axis is the horizontal line, the formula to be used in solving the slope when the line runs through two points. So, what if yung ating line ay dumaan po doon sa dalawang points? So, we can use also this formula. M is equal to the change in y over the change in x or simply as is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, saan galing si y sub 2, y sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 1? So, galing po to sa ating dalawang points na doon dumaan yung line natin. Okay. So, we have here the example. So, we have three methods on how to find the slope of the line. So, the first one is using two points. So, given yung two points. Okay. So, 
for this example, our points are for, for point 1 is 2 and 4, the positive 2 and positive 4, and point 2 is positive 5 and, and positive 8. So therefore, if we say that our point 1 is positive 2 and positive 4, diba yung 2 ay value ni x, yung, wa, yung 4 ay value ni y. So therefore, our x sub 1 is 2, and our y sub 1 is 4. This is for our point 1, diba? Then, for our second point, or point 2, 5 is the value of our x, and 8 is the value of our y. So, it means, yung 5 is our x sub 2, at saka yung 8 is our y sub 2. So, therefore, x sub 1 is equal to positive 2, and y sub 1 is equal to positive 4. Saan galing to? Sa ating first point, or point 1. Then, x sub 2 is equal to positive 5, and y sub 2 is equal to positive 8. This is from our point 2. So, therefore, we can use these points or this to substitute on our formula. Yeah, the slope formula, which is m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, if we substitute this one, magiging ganito, m is equal to 8 y sub 2 minus y sub 1, which is 4, over 5. This is our x sub 2 minus 2, which is our x sub 1. So, therefore, the slope of the line, if you simplify this one, the slope of the line is 4 over 3. Okay, so that's for the finding the slope of the line using two points. So, ang ating gagamitin ay yung formula na m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. And the second method is to find the slope of the line using the equation itself. So, what if equation yung binigay? So, how to find the slope of the line given the equation so if the equation is on a standard form yung ax plus by is equal c we will change that equation into y standard form or the slope intercept form in a form of y is equal to mx plus b this is our step one and once we rewrite the equation into y standard form y is equal to mx plus b we cannot determine the slope because m is our slope so if the value of m is like example 2 or 3 or 4 so that's our slope that is our slope that's the value of our slope okay so we have here the example find the slope of the line given y is equal to 2x plus 3 so if we look at the equation this is on a y standard form already or slope intercept form na po siya diba y is equal to mx plus b Hindi na po sa standard form. So, no need to rewrite because it is already in the Y standard form. So, what we're going to do here is on our step 2, we will determine the value of M. Diba? This is Y is equal to MX plus B. Our M is 2. So, therefore, the slope M or the value of our slope M is positive 2 since this is positive 2. Okay? So, ganyan lang po. But if the equation is on a standard form, we will rewrite that one into slope intercept form or the y standard form. Okay. So, for our third method, we have here to find the slope of the line using the given graph. It means, meron pong drawing na binigay or graph. So, first, step one is select two points on a line. Diba? Maghanap lang po tayo ng dalawang points dun sa line. And then, for step 2, count the rise. Pag sinabing rise, di ba? Pa pataas o pababa. The change, the, the, the vertical change or the Y, the change in Y coordinate. And, for step 3, let's count the run. The change in X coordinate. Di ba? Horizontal change. And step 4, simplify your fraction if possible. So, we have here the example. Okay. So, this is this is the solution. So, our graph is here. So, we have here the line. Okay. Then, let's choose two points. For example, negative 2 and negative 1. Our first point. And our second point is positive 3 and also positive 3. So, first, that is our first step. For our second step, let's count the rise. Okay, the change in y coordinate or the vertical change. 
So from here to here, so vertical chains, this one. That's why we have the drawing here. So let's count papunta sa taas. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So our rise is 4, positive 4. So our run, the chains in vertical. Okay, chains in X coordinate. So from here to here, this one. So let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so this is our run, 5. Okay, so kanina sa steps, di ba ang ating run ay numerator. Ang ating, ano, ating rise is the our numerator. And at, ang ating run is our denominator. So therefore, rise is 4, run is 5. So therefore, the slope is 4 over 5. Okay, 4 over 5. So we have a solution, di ba? Up is 4 units, or rise is 4. Right, going to right, it's 5 units, or so run is 5. So let's substitute to this formula. So therefore, our slope is 4 over 5. Okay, positive 4 over 5. So what if, balik ta, dun tayo magsimula kay positive 3, 3, going to negative 2 and negative 1. So from here to here, sa taas tayo magsimula. So, still, ano, still vertical chains, di ba? Vertical chains din. So, papunta dito. So, pababa po tayo. So, if we count this one, 1, 2, 3, 4. Since pababa, it means negative 4. That is our rise. And ang ating run ay chains in the x coordinate or the vertical chains. Ano, the horizontal chains. So, let's count from here to here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Since papunta tayo dun sa left, it means negative 5. So, now the question is, is positive 4 over positive 5 is the same as negative 4 over negative 5? The answer is yes. Why? Because if we simplify 4 divide 5, positive 4 divide 5, the result is positive. And our run here, if baliktad po yung competition natin, our run, uh, no, our rise is negative 4, diba? negative 4, then our run is negative 5, so negative 4 divided by, by negative 5, the result is still positive. So, pariho lang po yung result natin. Okay, so I hope nag-get siya po yung ibig natin sabihin. Okay, so that's for our rectangular coordinate system. Grade 8 Mathematics Quarter 1 Module 5 for school year 2021-2022. And once again, this is me, Teacher Koy of Easy Math Tutorial. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.